Another big week for Brexit is shaping up, starting with what will likely be a Monday to watch. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson will meet with his Irish counterpart, Leo Varadkar, in Dublin in a few hours. They're expected to discuss the likelihood of Britain striking a new deal on the Irish backstop. The Irish leader says he's not expecting a breakthrough. Also, the new law blocking the British government from enacting a no-deal Brexit is set to take effect Monday, which means Mr. Johnson would need to come up with a new trade deal with the EU or ask for a third Brexit extension. Something he has said this about, quote, I'd rather be dead in a ditch than see another delay. Also, the prime minister's team is trying to push through a vote on a snap election, but his opponents have vowed to quash it. Brexit's thorniest issue is the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. Right now, dairy farms ship fresh milk across the border without any problem. But that could all change if there is a no-deal Brexit. CNN's Nick Robertson has our story. From sea over mountains, more than 300 miles along rivers, slicing through towns, the border between Northern Ireland and its southern neighbour, the Republic of Ireland, cuts the island with a surgeon's precision and a drunk's sense of direction. It is an historic scar and more recently a symbol of peace. But it's fast becoming the badlands of Brexit, where real lives are colliding with bitter EU-UK negotiations. And one of Northern Ireland's biggest industries agriculture is collateral damage. There's a very big uncertainty. Like, what is going to happen? No deal Brexit is completely the unknown. So. Andrew Little is 26, milked his first cow when he was 10, inherited the tiny farm not far from the border from his father, has grown it to 100 cows, scrapes a living selling milk south of the border. A no-deal Brexit and the cross-border tariffs that would follow would crush him. Uh, I'd be out of business just straight away. I couldn't sustain it. You, you'd be out of business? Yeah. Oh, no problem. You'd she, have to shut down the farm? You would. You'd have to set up. And then who's going to buy the cows if, the, if everybody's in the same boat? So what? Right now, the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland is invisible. No customs posts, no controls. The road is wide open. Little more for most people than a line on the map. But after Brexit, all that could change, meaning the simple act of passing freshly produced cow's milk from one hand to the other over the border could become a whole lot more complicated. But even before Brexit happens, it's having an insidious impact. Prices at this border cattle market are down 15% lower than last year. Much of that over Brexit uncertainty, according to the market's owner. Our farmers don't know when Brexit's going to happen, if it's going to happen, and if it does happen, they don't know what the effect is going to be. If prices dip more, some here could go under before Brexit even happens. If the price comes down, if it goes down too much, we're out of business. Simple as that. Each day's Brexit delay erodes the economy. From here, the fix seems so near. We, we need free movement between north and south. And yet here at the border, the same fix seems so far away. 72 million vehicles cross each year. And as yet, London and Brussels can't agree on how to handle even one of them. Nick Robertson, CNN, on the border of Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland.